doesn't matter how brilliant a piece of technology is, if people can't intuitively understand how to use it, chances are they probably won't. We know from behavioral research that simple design decisions can have a big impact on behavior. Just as online stores make small design changes to better serve customers and make buying easier, healthcare systems make small incremental changes to their design in order to better serve patients. We asked Bill Evans, the mind behind Zymedica Design, what small incremental changes he has made when it comes to design in healthcare. One area is in looking at the way a product is used and trying to find lots of little opportunities to improve its use. An example I have of that is the Clio infusion set that we designed a few years ago. And this is an infusion set designed for people with diabetes. And what we did was we found that uh, when we went out and looked at the existing infusion sets at that time, there was always lots of little things about them that didn't make them quite as easy to use for people. So what we did is we went in, talked to a lot of those users, found out and got a good checklist of maybe a half a dozen things that really needed improving on the product, each one perhaps being a small incremental improvement. And then we very consistently applied that across the product and came up with a whole new way of inserting these infusion sets that was really loved by users, took a lot, made it very easy to use. Something that was not exactly the most pleasurable thing to do, pricking yourself, became a much easier thing for people to do. So that was an example and that had great commercial success as well as great user satisfaction. Bill and his team are listening to users, finding out what they don't like about a product, process, and working to make it better. These small changes have led to some big successes and breakthroughs. Take inhalers, for example. They took a very simple thing like an inhaler, which everybody knows a classic asthma inhaler, and created a very small little accessory for it that clipped on the top of any inhaler available and monitored when the inhaler was pressed and for how long. So now think of yourself as a parent looking after a child who has asthma and who's going to school and needs to take their asthma medication at school. Now, as a parent, you may not be there for your seven or eight year old to know that they're actually doing that. So the fact that there's this small little device that just clips on the top of this, it records when and for how long. And when the, when the kid gets home, it logs back into the parent's phone unbeknownst to that kid and lets the parent know how they've been doing taking their medication. So. What is Bill's secret to great design ideas? His philosophy is that you have to listen and be ready to sacrifice every idea, including your own, to move forward. I would encourage people to think of the early ideas they create and pass to people as being sacrificial. Imagine on, on the Aztec altar, they're all going to get killed and uh, slaughtered because it doesn't matter. It's what you learn from those different ideas about what users like and don't like that's going to inform you better for the future. Do you have a better idea? Is there a better solution I don't know about? Have you solved design issues? Please share your ideas with me at Dr. Nick One on Twitter and visit my website, incrementalhealthcare.com. Don't let perfection stand in the way of revolutionary incremental change. I'm Dr. Nick, and I'll see you next time.